small symbol on a driver's license turned former Kansas City police officer Chris Garcia's tragic story into a story of hope. I'm KSHB 41 News reporter Olivia Acri with how his legacy now lives on in more than 70 people across the Midwest. Many young boys dream of being a superhero when they grow up. According to Sylvia Langhammer, her son was a superhero. He joined Kansas City, Missouri Police Department, worked his way up into being a detective, and he worked the um, street narcotics unit. After a decade of serving Kansas City, Christopher Garcia died by suicide. He loved superheroes, and that kind of is what he became. It wasn't until after he passed that his family found out that he was an organ donor. And I feel very blessed that he made the decision. His choice turned the family's tragedy into hope. Suicide itself is such a traumatic experience, but the recipients, they have reached out to us, and it has been our greatest joy to meet them. Langhammer says losing a child left a piece of her empty, but the more than 70 people her son helped save helped fill the hole. It always strikes me. Um, Right in my heart. <laughs> Langhammer now advocates for organ donation and places a specific importance on multi-ethnic donation. Coming from a Hispanic family, we came to understand that um, organ donations are lacking. According to the Midwest Transplant Network, 613 out of 2,033 people in Kansas and Missouri waiting for donations are Latinx or black. I think it's our lack of not understanding the whole process. She wants to change that. When you do an organ donation, people are there to support you, to answer all of your questions. You're not alone. In Westwood, Olivia Acri, KSHB 41 News.